An elderly couple, while taking the last boating trip of their season, believes they may have spotted the infamous Agapogo on Lake Okanagan in British Columbia. Dale and Colleen Hatcher were taking advantage of the unusually warm day this late in the season on Lake Okanagan when they spotted something in the water. At first, we thought it was a log, said Hatcher, but then we doubled back and we couldn't believe what we saw. As we approached, at first we thought it could possibly be foul, said Colleen, but then we noticed it was something much larger. According to Dale, he knew what they were dealing with, the Agapogo of Lake Okanagan. When they immediately saw what they believed to be horns sticking out of the water, that was the first thought that came to mind. With her wits about her, Colleen pulled out her phone and snapped this picture. And then they took off because they didn't want to be in the water with that thing any longer than they had to be. And of course, you'll be asking the same question that I did, why didn't they take video? But we may have to give them a pass on this one as they are an older couple. Regardless, there is no denying that the picture is absolutely intriguing. One can say it's definitely something, just what? And if you look closely, it's pretty evident you can see eyes there and there, staring up at them. And when zooming in even further, you can spot what look to be teeth. They sent the photo in to an expert, even though they were astonished at the picture, they actually came up with that it was just waterfowl, which I have to strongly disagree with. The Agopogo has been part of Canadian lake monster folklore for hundreds, if not thousands of years. It first became known to the natives that inhabited the area many years ago, the Okanakane and the Shushwip tribes. The local indigenous believed it to be a demon, and when making passage through Lake Okanagan, they'd throw at dead fish and sometimes even live cattle to avoid being attacked. Even one of the islands in Lake Okanagan has been named Monster Island because it's believed that the Agapogo lives in a cave under it. Local legend states that sometimes you can see the blood and bones left behind from its kills. It's said that local natives have found remnants of the beast's ancient ancestors that have died there from many years ago. Lake Okanagan is the largest of five lakes interconnected in the British Columbia Okanagan Valley. These interconnected lakes stretch up to 79 miles and they have a depth of over 700 feet in some places. So yes, there's plenty of room for this massive sea serpent to make it its habitat. Some believe it could be up to 50 feet in length. So it makes one wonder, could this actually be a real picture? Could this be the legendary Agapogo? And let's be honest, this wouldn't be the first time we've heard of freshwater lake monsters that resemble sea serpents. Similar sightings have been reported in the Great Lakes and we can't forget Lake Ontario's lake monster as well. Sightings in that area have been reported dating back to the 1500s. These claims do have some merit when there's been multiple sightings by multiple different people. But unfortunately for most skeptics, that's simply not good enough. They wanna see physical evidence, like the beast having been caught and claimed for a photo to share with the world. Until then, we'll just have to live by these pictures and sightings by people from all over the area. Nevertheless, it's still fun to talk about, and it keeps the legend alive. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Did the Hatchers actually snap a picture of the notorious Agapogo of Lake Okanagan? I honestly like to think so. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Stay in the love. Stay in the light. I am out.